Hello from Gama. I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we will talk about the International Solar Alliance. It is a treaty based intergovernmental organization with an alliance of more than 121 countries. It is also called International Agency for Solar Policy and Application IASPA. Talking about the members, most of the countries are sunshine countries that is they lie either completely or partly between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Typically, they have high solar resources and some of them have as many as 300 days of sunshine. The countries that do not fall within the tropics can also join the alliance and enjoy all the benefits as other members with the exception of voting rights. The objective of this alliance is to work for efficient exploitation of solar energy to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. India has pledged a target of installing 100 gigawatts by 2022 and reduction in emission intensity by 33 to 35 percent by 2030. The idea is to create a clean planet. ISA was a great Indian initiative. It was first proposed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi who referred to the sunshine countries as Suriputra or Sons of the Sun. He did so at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Paris on 30th November 2015 in the presence of the then French President Francis Hollande and Ban Ki-moon, the then General Secretary of the United Nations. The framework agreement of the International Solar Alliance opened for signature in Marrakesh, Morocco in November 2016. Talking about the organization of ISA, it is headed by Upendra Tripathi and headquartered in India. In January 2016, Narendra Modi and the then French President Francis Hollande jointly laid the foundation stone of the ISA headquarters and they inaugurated the interim secretariat at the National Institute of Solar Energy in Gwal Pahari, Gurugram, India. The ISA Framework Agreement has a total of 14 articles. There are no targets or legal obligations imposed on member countries. Members take coordinated actions through programs and activities launched on a voluntary basis. Each member has one vote in the assembly. The partner countries, partner organization, strategic partners and observers may participate without having the right to vote. ISA has done some groundbreaking work. On June 30, 2016, the Alliance entered into an understanding with the World Bank for accelerating mobilization of finances for solar energy. More than 1000 billion US dollar investment will be needed by 2030 to meet ISA's goal for the massive deployment of affordable solar energy. At the World Energy Summit held in Abu Dhabi in January 2018, the Government of India announced the establishment of a $350 million solar development fund to enable financing of solar projects. This was the information about International Solar Alliance. This video was brought to you by Gamma IES Classes. I am Lakshman Maheshwari. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important updates. Thank you and have a good day.